Yeah. What's up guys, Isaac from TAC2 here, and today we're going to be bringing you a video on the top 10 city of tweaks. Let's get started. So the first tweak we're going to be looking at is called Torch NC. What this does is it adds a uh, flashlight button to your notification center. So if I pull down mine, you can see I now have a tap to torch button. I press it and it turns yellow. When it's yellow, it turns on your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch uh, flashlight. Tap it again, turns it off. Very easy, don't have to go to your flashlight app or anything. Just pull it down, swipe it, turn it on. The next tweak we're gonna be looking at is Dashboard X. And what this tweak does is it adds little uh, things like this, like weather and other widgets to your desktop of or your home screen, I guess. So what you have to do is you hold down your icons, then hold down your background, and boom, comes up with this. Let's say I want to put my uh, Torch NC on there. There you go. Here it is. Move it down. Press the home button to stop them from wiggling, and then I can turn on my flashlight like that. I have the weather, there were stocks, other things, very useful, especially if your weather app doesn't work with the new jailbreak. Alright, so the next tweak we have is called AppSent, and what this does is it adds a percentage to your updating apps or your downloading apps. So, let's say I wanted to uh, download Hardest Game Ever 2, let's install it. <clears throat> and if I go to my home screen, you can now see that there's a little percent. And as it downloads, the percent keeps increasing, and it just tells you how much it's downloaded. That's called AppSent, and I, I highly recommend that tweak. The next tweak we're going to be looking at is Blurried NC Background. What this does is it just adds a cool little effect to your notification center. As you can see, is it, ju it just blurs the... Uh, the whatever's behind it. So if I go on Safari, I pull it down, it just blurs it again like this. Very useful. And I think it's actually very cool and looks much better than the original notification center background. The next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Wi Fi Booster. What this does is when you go into your Wi Fi in your settings, it now brings up your Wi-Fi with, I believe, what is the ping underneath it, and it shows a lot more networks. Right now, I'm not really picking up very many because I'm in my basement, but usually it will show many more networks than what you usually pick up. It's very similar to Wi-Fi Fofum, if you guys have ever heard of that app. It was taken out of the App Store, and so this is a replacement for it. Very useful if you want to find hard-to-connect-to Wi-Fi networks. The next week is called Any Lock App, and what this does is if you go into your settings here and you scroll down to it, Any Lock App, you can choose your app. And let's see, I want to use Chrome, so my Any Lock App Chrome is Chrome. And what it does is if I turn off my iPod and turn it back on, I'm at the lock screen here. And now if I swipe up on the camera, instead of being the camera, it opens up, hold on, Google Chrome. So this is, you can open up Twitter, Facebook, whatever else you want if you don't ever use the camera. It's very useful. I think it's great. I use it all the time. The next tweak we're going to be looking at is Auto Protect for iOS 6 or just Auto Protect if you have older versions of the iPod. And what this does is if you go into your settings and click on the Auto Protect, you can type in the name of your uh, house's Wi-Fi network. So what happens is when you are at your house and you are connected to that Wi-Fi network, it disables your uh, passcode at your lock screen. So you can just swipe through without typing in your passcode. But then when you leave the house and you're not connected to any Wi-Fi network, it uh, disables the or it, and it, and it does not disable it enables the passcode. So it pops up and you have to type it in. So if you do lose your iPhone or iPod or whatever, when you're not connected 
and not home, then that's when it will enable it. So it prevents any theft or whatever other stuff. The next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Bigify. If you go into your settings and scroll down, you will find Bigify. And what you can do is you can change the rotation of the apps. You can do it all the way up to 360 degrees or 359, I suppose. You can change the transparency of the apps. You can change how big or small the apps are. You can set it back to the default scale. You can change the icon labels, which is like just the little text underneath the apps. You can flip the badges, and the badges are like the little red circles that pop up with numbers when you have an update or a new message or something like that. And then you can do it for whether or not it affects the uh, dock. And to get everything to apply, you just click Apply Changes down here at the bottom, and it will respring your device. And as you can see, I have my apps a little bit smaller than normal right now. That's how I like it. I think it looks really cool. And that is called Bigify. The next tweak we will be looking at is called Volume Sensitivity. I think this uh, is very useful, very helpful. A lot of people think the uh, volume buttons aren't very good, like it takes a long time to go up. Now when you press it once, the uh, amount of volume it changes by is actually two little, two little squares, so it goes twice as fast up and twice as fast down. Alright, so the final tweak we're going to be looking at is called Wake Info. And what this tweak does is whenever you set an alarm or you have a uh, dismiss come up for your alarm or whatever, you can have little notifications or have Siri talk to you and tell you certain things. So for uh, when I click snooze for my alarm, it will come up with these uh, either notifications or Siri saying the temperature is and then say the temperature of the day. So when I wake up in the morning, I want to know what I want to wear or how cold it is outside, how warm it is. Siri will just tell me right when I click snooze on my uh, alarm. And there you go. You can have all these things, date, day, month, year battery percentage, calendar events, missed calls, whatever the heck you want, you can even open up a website. So, that is the uh, top 10 tweaks for Cydia. And this is Isaac from Tech2, signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.